Hi, Naomi Suzanne from Naomi's Home Health. I want to make these um, <clears throat> crunchy quinoa patties. So I've got this book, Eat Well, Nourishing Everyday Foods from Thermomix. Um, Thermomix gave me this book and for <clears throat> you know sharing Thermomix with everybody. So here I found these crunchy quinoa patties with smash avo. You can put poached eggs on them. I'm not going to put poached eggs. I'm just going to do the avo and a big slice of organic tomato that I got from the markets. Just want to do something different for brunch or you know morning tea because I have fruit um, in the morning for breakfast. I like to have something um, at lunch. Oh, between lunch. So this is going to be good, and I'll make a few of them so I don't have to um, make them every day. So. It makes eight, I think it says. So I've already made the quinoa in the thermo mix, and now I just search up the crunchy quinoa patties because it is in the thermo mix. Um, in the mix. Oh God, why is my brain not working? It's in the program, okay? <laughs> oh, Naomi, it's a long day. Quinoa. I cannot do this backwards. It's really difficult. Patties, come on, you can spell. There it is, found it. So, start cooking. I'm just gonna go through a couple of steps because I've already done the quinoa. Right, where are we? Okay, so yeah, I've, I've got here. It needs forty grams of chickpea flour, besom flour. So make sure it's on zero. Go to forty grams. Right, 40. Next. Three eggs. I don't normally eat eggs, but I really want to try these. I think they'll be nice with some smashed avocado. I'm going to put some avocado, lime juice, probably some coriander for the um, detoxing the heavy metals. And then the tomato on the top with some nice sea salt. Put those in. Three eggs, 30 grams of white chia seeds. I've got black because I'm not going to go out and buy white chia seeds just because I've got black. So 30 grams, whoops, 36, doesn't matter, they're good for you anyway. And I've got here some shallots, just sliced up, we're going to go in. Put in the comments if you eat quinoa, if you like it. It's really, really delicious. Some ground pepper, some ground black pepper. Mm -mm -mm. And half a teaspoon of salt. Oh, a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm just gonna do that because Naomi doesn't always measure. We know this, right? And then the quinoa with my fingers, because I can. And then my lid with the measuring cup inside. And then it gives me 10 seconds, no temperature, and speed three. So it gives me everything I have to do. So I've got these little egg rings. I'm just gonna oil the inside. And that is how I'm gonna make these patties. Set aside for 15 minutes to allow the mixture to firm. Well, that's not going to happen today. Oh, it will because you know why? Because of the chair seat. Where's my scraper? So I'll show you what it looks like. So the chair seat is going to soak up that little bit of that liquid.
So can you see? A little bit runny, but I'm sure. And then I'm going to cook them over here in my pan. But it's telling me place a large fry pan over a medium heat and add oil. Divide mixture into eight portions and shape in oh, shape them into patties. Working in batches, fry patties for seven or eight minutes on each side or until golden. Transfer to a plate and then eat. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to let this sit for the 15 minutes just to allow the chia seeds to soak up. The chia seeds will act like a bit of a binding agent. Um, I'll let them soak up. That'll thicken, thicken the eggs, thicken everything up, thicken the liquid. And then I will come back later and show you the finished product. And then I'll show you tomorrow when I have my brunch, morning tea, whatever you like to call it. Um, I'll show you what it, the results look like. And I'll give you an honest review of whether I liked them or not. I eat a lot of quinoa, I love it. Um, quinoa, brown rice, stuff like that. Chia seeds, all really good for you. So something different. If you're making brunch, it's a really quick and simple meal to make. And something different other than having toast and sourdough and all of those things like a lot of people have sensitivities to or you know they want to eat a little bit less processed carbs so quinoa is really good to replace that so I'll come back and show you exactly what it looked like mm -hmm.